We're now going to have a look at the sesamoid bones underneath the first metatarsophalangeal joint. Now, the first thing you've got to bear in mind with this evaluation is your machine settings. So we can already see here that on an 18 megahertz frequency, I'm not getting the clearest image of these uh, sesamoid bones. I can see them, but they're not as clear as they could be. So I'm gonna reduce my frequency to try and obtain greater penetration. I'm now on 15, and I've got a slightly better view now of those two sesamoid bones. As I start to move my probe up and down, we can start to highlight the flexor tendon that comes down underneath the big toe, the flexor hallucis. We can see that very clearly here. As we come down, underneath the joint itself, we'll see two bones appear, which you can see here and here. And these are your two sesamoids, your medial and lateral sesamoid that lie under the base of the first, second metatarsophalangeal joint. Now, when you're looking at these, it's useful to try and rock your probe round to try and flatten the appearance slightly if you can. So if your probe is like that, they're more difficult to evaluate. So just try and rock your probe round slightly around the corner. You may also wish to, at this point, use a little bit more gel. Like that, and increase your gain slightly as well and you may even wish to reduce your frequency a bit more. If we come around in a long axis view, we can see that flexor tendon really nicely now, can't we, across the screen, and we can move that up and down. If I travel more medially, we can see that distinct outline of the medial sesamoid. It should be a smooth, rounded appearance, a bit like a pebble, and we can then come back across and we'll start to see the flexor tendon in between and then the lateral sesamoid which sits a bit deeper in this instance on this side. These should be very clear, well-rounded, well-corticated structures consistent with a sesamoid bone. Uh, you can see that particularly nicely there with the medial sesamoid in this instance.